Great, so we got to a stage where our email is in um, a format that's just about ready to send. We've copied some text from another source, we've reformatted that text, we've inserted an image, we've added new text, added a link and so on. So we're ready to go. Right, okay. So here it is in um, in the list of emails that we've either sent or have got ready. It's still in draft format and it's being sent to the boycott test list. Let's click on that. And we come to this familiar screen which gives us all the options for which we're able to do some editing. And it's come here, if you remember, because that was the last place in the process that we'd reached before we saved and ed exited last time. Uh, we're going to leave this on the boycott test list, but I just want to show you that if I did want to um, send it to another list, I would hit edit and I would select a different, I could select a different list. Coming back to here, there's a couple of things that I'm not going to bother with. I'm not going to bother with tracking. I'm not going to bother with monkey rewards, ho ho, or email authentication. Um, I think that we can leave that for some other time. But what we will have a look at now is these magic buttons down the bottom the send now and the preview and the test. So if we hit preview and test we get some options and I'm going to open up the pop-up preview and it's looking pretty good. If I look, scroll down, doing a little bit of proofreading on the way skimming down but I have now seen a mistake which is your name so I'm going to close that and go in and edit it so we edit first of all the HTML email and hit edit we find the section of the email that we do want to edit it's the body of the message so I'll we'll hit edit there we come to this familiar editor go down here and since it was your email June that I copied the text from I'm going to put your name there I'll hit save now don't forget we're now in the middle of the process and we probably need to cycle through it especially to make sure the plain text version matches and the quickest way to do that is copy the text from HTML and then we hit on the confirm button and we come back to our familiar screen here and let's see what else we could do we can send a test email and I've already sent a, te sent a test to that address and uh, I'll send another one Close that down. If I have a look here, I've got one I prepared earlier. And this is what came in a little bit earlier to me. Can you see that the subject is prefixed by bracketed text, uh, which is the name of the list. Um, and this is the subject that we've given the email. You can see it's looking quite good. <coughs> Reasonably okay. Got your name in it now, June. And if for some reason it wasn't displaying correctly in this email client, I could click on this link and view an archived version on MailChimp servers. OK, let's go back to um, our campaign builder here. What else have we got in preview and test? We've got a few other options that I won't be going into. It's it will be difficult to do, uh, show here, but effectively we can test what it looks like on a mobile client if we wanted to. But I think this email is more or less ready to send. Remember, it is going to the boycott 
test list, not the real list. So if I hit send now, it tells me, it actually, this is our final warning, confirm the send. You're about to send this campaign. Remember when it says campaign, it really means email to five subscribers of the boycott test list. List. Are you sure you want to continue? Well, actually, I don't. I'm not going to do that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure it's ready to send and then I'll show you how to change the list it gets sent to and then we'll send it out for real. Okay, I'm going to cancel that. I'm going to save and exit. Go back to our dashboard. And once you've let me know that it's ready to send, you're sa satisfied with the text, I'll do another screencast showing you how to actually send it.